Hello, welcome to the Vogue show. Well, I say welcome to the Vogue show. Things are changing. I don't like the way that I've been doing the shows. You know, if you've been watching some of the Vogue shows and even my other, my podcast, The Naked Englishman, um, you'll know that I've been trying to find my niche on how to make videos on YouTube and, and be reasonably successful. Um, and I suppose what's come to mind is this sort of pretense, the, um, hello, how are you? This is the Vogue show. That sort of, I don't know, I feel that that's a little too fake now um, for the internet. I, you know, it probably works great on the radio, that sense of zaniness. And I think if you're going to do it, you've got to do it very well. You've got to have the time, you've got to have the budget, you've got to do it properly. And I think my strongest features as a communicator and a storyteller, and because I write children's stories as well, I think my strongest feature is just being me, just being more natural and, and taking you out into the environment like I'm doing here and just telling stories really and um, talking about stories of life maybe still take some of those same subjects that I was doing and ponder about things but I think that instead of trying to give a an over-the-top persona I think our relationship is me being more open and honest to you um, so that's why I've taken myself into this rather glorious wooded area here. I'm still in Shropshire. I've been up here um, seeing my partner Harriet and um, having the weekend away. This is um, a lovely part of the world if ever you get the chance to go. Lots of beautiful rolling hills, um, little glades and forests and spinneys like this. Um, and as we come into the summer it just occurred to me that this would be the perfect thing because I love getting out into the countryside, I love the countryside and I don't know as much as I would like to. I have a curious mind and that's I suppose why the Bald Explorer became uh, as reasonably successful although why the format works and I mentioned this on The Naked Englishman that I'd like to do more of a Bald Explorer light. So I think I'm trying to sort of streamline my channels so that they all make sense, that they're not, one is a, a showy kind of show with the green screen and the lights and the studio and, and trying to drum up trade because I don't think that really is what I'm doing. I still think that we can, we can talk and I can share stuff that's happened to me and I want to be engaging and um, and honest and I think that's what where the the internet is is going to be great so I think I'm going to instead of calling it the Vobe show I think I'm just going to call it Vobes um, I think that's a strong name just Vobes it's not really from a beach hut in Worthing in West Sussex at the edge of the South Downs and um, beside the English Channel it could be anywhere it could be anywhere and and I think that's that's the strength um, but forgive me if you're throwing your hands up going oh Vobes you just keep chopping and changing your mind and that's because I'm I suppose I'm desperately trying to find the right format here um, I don't know if you're interested in in how YouTube videos are made to be successful I mean obviously anybody can set up an account on YouTube anybody can bung up their videos and share them with whomever some people however want to obviously build an audience and they have a niche and they talk about whatever it is whether it's a gardening show or a, um, a, a makeup show or it's games and that sort of thing. My problem is that I don't really have those sort of niches and I'm, I know that if I was to try and plonk myself in one hole um, it wouldn't work. I'm a writer, I am a communicator, I am a filmmaker and I think they're, they're my things and they're the areas that I'm probably going to talk about, probably going to explore. Obviously I want to get people interested in my kids books um, and there's a lot of those things that I can, I think I'm slowly focusing what I can bring to this channel and um, hopefully that's, hopefully it will work out that I don't keep chopping and changing my mind. 
So if you've come expecting a sort of wild, mad, zany sort of show, I think my humour comes more when I'm just being genuine than when I'm actually trying to force it, trying to manufacture it. And I think that's what works on video particularly. I think if it was a live show, a live performance, as in an audience, I think that would be a completely different kettle of fish. But I think I can, I can give more value to this and take you places and share with you thoughts and ideas and, and that sort of thing in a far stronger way. So I'm hoping that you'll stay subscribed, that you'll actually enjoy the new format, that we will together go and explore things and see what happens. Let's give it the summer and see where we go. And um, hopefully if you like it, some of your friends might like it. And if you've stumbled across this for the first time, you know, the gurus all say, don't forget to ask people to subscribe and give you a thumbs up. I, I actually don't know what difference the thumbs up means, have, having, if that has anything to do with a YouTube algorithm or not, I have no idea. I know that obviously the subscriber numbers is important um, and the watch time getting through to the end of the video. So, I mean, there's many things that I can share, stuff that I've learned, stuff, stories that I can tell you. And I think this should be more about me and more about my stories. And, and obviously you may have absolute no interest in it whatsoever, but at the same time, you might, you might. So, you know, we could have some fun. <laughs> we could have some fun. And this is a beautiful wood pile that I'm sitting on. I wish it was mine. I have a, a pot belly. No, it's a, it's not a pot belly. It's a cylindrical wood burning stove. I couldn't get them in at this size, but I could, um, could hack them up. Maybe I can shunt a few in the boot of my car and make off with some. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Till then, bye for now.